Mac users, if you record with Riverside, you don't have to do it in the web browser anymore. Riverside now has a native Riverside Studio app for the Mac that you can download right now. If you need to join someone else's studio via a link, click this button in the top right corner, and then you can paste that link and join their studio right here. You can start recording right here in the native Mac app outside of a web browser, and you get those high quality local video and audio files. And a huge benefit of the Mac app is screen shares are now locally recorded on device. Before you enter the studio, you can choose your camera, microphone, and speaker output, just like on the web, whether or not you're using headphones. And if you use Blackmagic local video capture devices, because this is a native Mac application, it can take advantage of some of those third-party utilities, and you'll have access to more of those video capture devices in your Riverside studio. When you're ready, you can join the studio, send out your guest link, audience, or producer links, just like before, and you'll still have all the recording tools you know and love right here in your studio interface. I'll start recording using the Mac app, and another huge benefit is here, it has access to your computer's entire drive or SSD. When you use Riverside in the browser, it has to save to the web browser cache, and that might be a limited amount of space. But this native Mac app has access to your entire computer storage system, plus those video capture devices that might require third-party utilities. Also, if you plan to make your video content or podcast more engaging, maybe you have a bunch of tabs open that you want to be able to share. Well, now you can always keep track of your Riverside window. If you hit Command Tab, you can always go back to the Riverside app easily during your recording. You might need to give screen sharing permissions the first time you go to launch a screen share. Do this before you start your first recording because you'll need to restart the Riverside Studio app for this change to take effect. Now when you go to share your screen, you'll see all the different options including apps. Here I'll share my Safari window. And you'll see increased performance and better quality from the local screen recording here using the Mac app. Now to access your recordings or change your studio settings, you will need to go to Riverside in your web browser. But if you're a Safari user by default, you can still access your studio settings, recordings, and more in Safari without having to go to Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Go to a past recording, and then you can download your high quality video and audio files, and any of those local screen share files as well. And that's the brand new Riverside Studio Mac app. It has access to your computer's full storage rather than just the browser cache. You get high quality local screen shares from the Mac app, and you can use video capture devices from makers like Blackmagic that might require third-party utilities. If you have any questions about our new Mac app, leave a comment below this video. I answer those personally. And if you want to learn more about the incredible supercharged new Riverside editor, we'll leave a video right up here. You can learn about that. Or if you want to know how to optimize your podcast for different applications, take advantage of Apple Podcasts and Spotify, we'll leave that video right up here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have new features coming out all the time and you can be the first to hear about it right here on YouTube. Hit that like button before you go. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.